Aloha, and welcome back to another episode of Stay at Home Blues and Oranges, brought to you by After School All Stars Hawaii. My name is Charles, and I'm the program leader at Washington All Stars. In this episode, we will be creating our own mouse pad. You can use this mouse pad to do your homework on the computer or play computer games. Here's what you'll need for this activity you will need a cork trivet, you will also need acrylic paint, mine is blue, but you can use any color you prefer, and an assorted colors of pom-poms. You will also need a foam brush. In addition, you will also need a hot glue gun. As an alternative to a hot glue gun, you can also use Elmer's glue. Be careful when using the hot glue gun as it may be very hot. You may also ask assistance from your parents if needed. Fun fact about the mouse pad, it was invented by Jack Kelly in 1968. It was created for the purpose of the cursor control mechanism for the mouse. So what I've done here is I've put some blue paint into a small little bowl. You can use any color paint that you want. And now I'm gonna take this foam brush and I'm just gonna dip it into the blue paint. We don't need to use too much. And what we're gonna do is just start from one end of the um, cork trivet and just work our way down. We don't need to put too much blue paint because your mouse will be um, placed on this trivet. So as we go along, we just go in straight lines just like that, just, just go in uh, straight lines. We don't wanna make patterns and shapes like that because it's gonna show up once it dries. So we're just gonna make straight lines over it. Just keep a continuous motion. So as you can see, I just made um, circle marks on my cork trivet. This is gonna end up being the back part of the trivet. Um, so you won't see the, the circles and the lines. If you want to, you can paint the back and the sides, or you can just paint the surface that you're going to use for your mouse pad. It's really up to you. In addition to painting your trivet a certain color, you can also have other um, colors that you want to use, say yellow, for example. You can make cute little designs in your trivet. But for me, I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple with one blue color. Blue is also my favorite color. So we're just gonna continue in a sweeping motion. Avoid using too much paint. We're just gonna start by filling up all the edges. Again, we do not need to use too much paint. So that works perfectly good. And we're just gonna keep a continuous brushing motion as we go on. So the reason why we're using a foam brush instead of a regular brush is because the cork trivet, some cork trivets have little dents and nicks in them, as you can see right over here. Um, your regular brush would just basically go over it. With the sponge brush, you can actually dab the places that don't need as much paint. As you can see, I'm using very little. Um, for the middle, I'm mostly just dragging my brush along in a straight line, but for the corners, I will have to dab my brush. So again, we want to keep our continuous brushing motion for the middle and dab along the edges. So you get a nice, even, consistent paint. Avoid using too much. So you, you realize that I'm, I'm going like this in a very, um, not violent, but a quick sweeping motion. 
because you do want all the paint um, to be on the Corvette itself. Sponges do soak up the paint a little bit more. So if I take too long, it's just gonna be all soaked up into the sponge and not much paint, as you can see, is gonna be on the um, Corvette itself. So just a quick sweeping motion works. So for the end, we're just gonna start dabbing because if we dab it, if we do a sweeping motion, it's just gonna push the Corvette around. So we're just gonna dab as we get along to the edges here. Let's do a dab, dab, dab motion. Get all the uneven spots. Okay, so as you can see, most of the um, Trivette has been painted over. Um, there are a few spots that are uneven, so I'm just gonna go over them one more time. For example, right here, this area right here, I don't know if you can see, the consistency is a bit off. So I'm gonna use this and just fill it in. Um, it is a trivet, so there are gonna be holes and stuff in it. But for the major inconsistencies, we're just gonna go over with this, this brush and just dab it on there. Now, if you have a little too much paint on certain areas, you can use the flat end of the brush and just take it off. Alrighty, so as you can see, the Trivette is painted to a blue color, just how I like it. If you want, you can also decorate the other side of the Trivette so that you know, if you get tired of one color, all you need to do is just flip it around and you have another color. But I prefer to keep it simple. So I'm just going to work on this side. But if you want to, you can just work on the other side. But make sure that this side is dry first. So as you can see, it's, it, it's not dry. So I'm going to let it sit here and let it dry. And I'll be right back with some more. Um, puff balls and we're going to hot glue gun the puff balls around the cork trivet itself. So once the paint is dried, I'm going to take the bottom part of the triviat and just glue the small little puff balls on the bottom and on the sides it can be large or medium, whichever you prefer, just all over the sides. I prefer the small ones on the bottom because when you're using the mouse pad, the bottom of your hand is gonna be right at the bottom of the Triviat itself. And it's just a preference. If there's a large one, it's just gonna rub and tickle the bottom of your um, wrists, which I don't like. Um, it's a preference if you wanna just use the large ones on the bottom, it's all right. So I'm gonna take the hot glue gun And I'm gonna carefully just go along the bottom. Um, we don't have to run the entire length. We're just gonna do a little bit by little so that hot glue gun doesn't dry up on us. I'm just gonna take tiny little ones and I'm just gonna go on. Um, it really doesn't matter which colors you use. I'm just going to alternate and switch the colors as we go along. Try not to take too long because the hot glue gun will dry up quite fast. Now for the sides, we can just glue a little bit towards like the edge part because they are larger. Um, if you do glue like we did with the small, the size of the puffball will interfere with the bottom and it won't be even. So we're just gonna glue on the side. What you can also do 
is if you've opted for a lighter color background, say pink, light blue, yellow, um, you can also write your signature right across to personalize it even more. And for the top, I'm going to use these large color bands right here, just like so. Maybe alternate the colors a little. Go. So this is the finishing result of a mouse pad. It's just all personal um, designs and whatnot. If you have extra, you can layer where the small one is to give it a little bit more of a plump. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Let's go over with the hot glue gun. Again, you want to apply a liberal amount of hot glue so that it actually does stick. I'm just going to go over. So this is the finishing result of the mouse pad. So this would be the bottom part, and you can just put your mouse on top, like this, just click, click, click. So today you've learned how to create a mouse pad out of a cork trivet. You can use this mouse pad for computer games or homework or work or whatever you want to do with it. Another great idea is if you're looking for a small little push pin board, get a little push pin and just stick it in here. Or if you're looking for a large push pin board, you can get a bigger cork trivet and just decorate it as you want. And you can just put a little frame around it, a wooden frame hanging up on a wall or something, and you can have little push pins in it. That will be a project for another day. Thank you for watching and being a part of our After School All Stars Hawaii Ohana. If you're joining us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on the notification so that you don't miss any of our new videos. Please also follow us in All Stars Hawaii on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to connect with us. We hope you share this video or leave us a comment on what you want to see next and what you liked.